My client Matt lost $25,000 in one day because Amazon shut his Amazon business down. So yeah, you can make a whole lot of money on Amazon, but there's some serious risks that come with it. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what everyone who sells an Amazon course doesn't want you to know. So I'm gonna talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between, and what it's like to actually own an Amazon business and the risks that are involved before you even think about starting an Amazon business or buying one. Now, before we get started, in my mastermind where I teach people to scale their online businesses, I have many clients doing tens of thousands of dollars per month to hundreds of thousands of dollars per month selling products on Amazon. And you know what they all have in common? Is they all wanna get off Amazon. But first, let's look at the one massive pro or the positive to selling on Amazon. What Amazon has done is they've built this amazing business and mostly this amazing audience of customers that want to purchase from Amazon. They're loyal to Amazon and they trust and believe in their brand. They have an audience of hungry buyers that want to buy products that you can sell on Amazon. The reason this is really, really good is because when we start out as an entrepreneur, mostly we don't really know much about sales and marketing and that makes it really, really hard. It makes it hard to sell our products that we come up with. This is taken away. That gap has been bridged by Amazon because you don't need to do much sales and marketing when they have an audience that wanna purchase the product that you wanna sell anyway. So that's a massive positive there. And I'm not gonna you know, sweep that under the rug and pretend it's not there because it's really, really, really cool. But there's huge risks that come with Amazon that we still need to talk about. There's a lot of work before you even get to that phase where you have a product on Amazon and you are actually making money. Now, let's talk about the risks. First up, Amazon has a high amount of competition. Of course, because they've got a huge bulk amount of people who want to purchase products from their brand, of course, everybody's going to want to sell products and list their products on Amazon to sell. Meaning there's so much competition, it's really hard to find a product that's in a niche that isn't saturated and there isn't a lot of competition that are fighting for prices and in price wars, right? And there's a lot of competition that it, it's hard to get the margins. I'm gonna talk about the margins soon, you know, the margins of profit. But let me give you an example. I have a friend who's very smart, he's very diligent, and he follows things to the T, step by step. He's taken somebody's course and there's tens of thousands of people that have taken this course and he's been doing this for years and he hasn't gone away and found a product that he can sell on Amazon yet. Why? Because the amount of competition and by the time he does find something, there's someone else who has beaten him to the punchline. Yes, there's a lot of courses out there that teach this sort of stuff, but a lot of people are getting ripped off because it's really, really hard to go away and find a product and that's not what people that are selling these Amazon courses are actually telling you, right? They're saying it's super simple, easy. But the reality is it's very, very hard and there's this fickle period that you need to get through to be able to get to the point where you do find a product, get product market fit, list it on Amazon and make sure you can build up that listing as quick as possible before other poachers come in with big money and rip off your product and outbid you or get you into a price war and end up winning because they can make more of a margin on the product than you buying you know lesser amount they may buy massive stockpiles so let's talk about margins that's another risk number two there are low margins when you sell on amazon now why is this because you have a lot of fees you have the fee of finding the product right and engineering it and then getting the product made and you need to buy a certain amount of product to make it worthwhile to sell on amazon to still get that product margin then you have to pay amazon to ship out your orders you also have to pay a fee for them to stock in their warehouse as well. What happens is as your product may start to sell is that on Amazon, because the margins are very, very small and you don't make a huge profit margin, when you wanna go away and buy a lot more stock, it can be hard to scale because you may not have the money to buy big amounts of stock, which puts people into a position where they need to get financed to buy more products, which is a huge risk because then when you start to sell more products or buy more products and there's other people that come in and they can get better margins because they're buying more stock than you and they're getting better margins, you're in a price war and then you've still got your finance to pay off as well. So that's a scary risk that some people don't actually think about, right? We need to think about the long term 
when we're in business here. Thirdly, talking about stock is Amazon can hold up your stock, right? And it happened to so many people through COVID. Some of the items that were selling on Amazon just weren't essential items, right? Say people needed a drink bottle or, you know, different things around the house that weren't so important compared to like hygienic goods, then Amazon can just decide I'm gonna stop shipping out your product or stop your listing while we prioritize this. Now, imagine if you have a, a product that you sell that isn't priority, right? Isn't a, an essential item through COVID and you need to sell that product to put food on your table, there's a huge risk that comes up with that. Please comment below, have you ever thought about starting an Amazon business? I'd love to know your progress and what you've learned through this process as well. Fourthly, I wanna talk about another risk and that's that Amazon actually owns you. What happens is when you're on Amazon, it's hard to get off Amazon because you can sell a lot of products, right? It's hard to build your own little brand outside Amazon and build your own sales marketing funnel through there because it's already embedded in Amazon. But the risk that's involved with that is you have this thing called single source dependency. And most people don't actually think about this, that when Amazon shuts down either your listing for a number of days because somebody's made a bad comment or they just decide it's a non-essential item or they just decide to hold up the stock in the warehouse, which has happened to people and they may have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks before their stock can even get into their, their FBA warehouses, then you have single source dependency. You're reliant on one company to provide you revenue, right? Yeah, sure, of course you can get multiple sales from multiple people on Amazon, but Amazon are the people that end up paying you at the end of the day, and you are reliant on Amazon, and they can put a stop to everything very, very quickly. Or what's worse is talking about competition again, is Amazon, and they won't admit this at all, but sometimes Amazon will find a product that's just producing a great result, great returns, and they can just go away and take that product off their marketplace and create that themselves and sell it on their own marketplace. And they can just eliminate the people that are winning and recreate it themselves and sell those products themselves. So you are up against one of the biggest businesses in the world. So talking about risk and talking about control is like, when we have an Amazon business, you don't have much control over your business, right? Amazon does. And any good business person knows that the best business is the business that has the least amount of risk. And that's something that's really, really important to understand. So yeah, guys, you can make a whole lot of money on Amazon, but the proof is in the pudding. If I have all of these clients that are making tens of thousands of dollars to hundreds of thousands of dollars per month, and they all wanna get off Amazon, isn't that saying something? right? A lot of people that sell you these Amazon courses, most of the money they're making is through the courses they're actually selling you. So you need to be careful. You need to be conscious of who's actually getting a result. What's the percentage of people that are getting a result from their course? How much work was put in? Like I'm talking about hours of time and how much money was put in as well. And then even when you get to that point that you have a successful business, which is a very small percentage, you do have this position that you want to get your business off Amazon and you want to start building out your your own sales and marketing funnel that you actually own and you're not single source dependent on Amazon. So these are just things to talk about and to think about when you're looking at getting into an Amazon business. YouTube watcher, what's up? Jared Krause here. Firstly, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I hope you're doing super good. I also want to ask you, please subscribe because my commitment and exploration on YouTube is about to explode stories, polls, more amazing content, more engagement, more surprise and delight. This is the time to subscribe. I hope you consider it and I'll speak to you soon. Hey YouTube watcher, if you thought that video is good, you should check out this video here on the two best types of websites beginners should buy. Or check out my playlist on how I made my first 100K from buying websites and how to do due diligence. Check it out, it's an awesome playlist. You'll enjoy it.